Fernandina Beach traffic, so 152 Sierra Juliet, departing runway 31, Fernandina. And this will be a simulated turn back to the runway. For anybody out there that cares. All right, here we go. Notice how on my takeoff roll already, I'm pulling back just a little bit on the yoke just to keep that nose wheel nice and light. So it'll fly itself off the pavement when it's ready. Feel that? Yep. Okay, so I'm pitching for my best rate of climb. Fernandina traffic says now 42 X ray crossing runway 279 or Fernandina. All right, so this is going to look and feel really weird, okay? So just observe. Okay, there's 500. So that's what's possible. Whoa. <laughs> that's what's possible. But look what you have to do to get that to happen. Some fairly aggressive maneuvering, but it's possible, right? That could be the difference between Life and death. ending up in the water. Right? Yep. So just a good demonstration, but it takes practice and so preparation. You just, you just turn up and immediately turn around, right? Fernandina traffic says 42 X-ray crossing runway 224 Fernandina. It's going to take me a while to learn this. I'm not suggesting that's something that you should do right now if it happened to you, okay? Your best case for survival right now, if you were soloed right now, would probably be to just slow put it down in the marsh, just right? Just, just try to slow it as much as... Right. You know, when but with practice, that's totally mm -hmm. possible. Okay. So when all of a sudden you just dropped the throttle... That was to keep the airspeed. I had to immediately lower the nose. Okay, so you deliberately did it yourself. Correct. I so see. I wouldn't stall. Okay, okay. Yep. Fernandina Beach, Fernandina Beach traffic, so 152 Sierra Juliet departing runway 27 with a left turn out, Fernandina. Okay. 